Hello learners, welcome to our video lesson, a new day of an exciting and fun learning. In this video lesson, we will learn about the importance and uses of elements and compounds. Here are the objectives in our video lesson. We will be able to identify the essential elements found in our body and environment. Recognize the important elements and compounds that are useful to humans. Alright, so let's head in. Elements can be found everywhere. And that is true. Here are the essential elements and the relative abundance of elements in the environment and in the human body. Our Earth's crust is made up of several elements such as 46% of oxygen, 28% of silicon, 8% of aluminum, 5% of iron, 3% of calcium, 3% of sodium, 2% of potassium, and others are 5%. For our Earth water composition, 85% of oxygen, 11% of hydrogen, 2% of chlorine, 1% of sodium, and others are 1%. Next is the air composition, which has 46% of nitrogen, 8% of oxygen, and 3% of other gases. And for the human body, 65% of oxygen, 18% of carbon, 10% of hydrogen, 3% of nitrogen, 2% of calcium, 1% of phosphorus, and 1% for other elements. Can you name the natural element found in the four system? Very good, that is the oxygen. Now you realized how important oxygen is in our environment. Here are some important elements and their uses. Nitrogen, with the chemical symbol of big letter N, it is an important component of a compound, ammonia, with the chemical formula of NH3, which releases nitrogen, an essential nutrient for growing plants, including farm crops and lawns. Neon, with the chemical symbol of big letter N and small letter E, this element adds more lit or vibrant to the sign advertisement. Sodium, with the chemical symbol of big letter N and small letter A, it is an important component of sodium chloride to use in making soap and used as industrial salt. Aluminum, with the chemical symbol of big letter A and small letter L, this is essential in the production of kitchenware, aluminum foil, and cans. Copper with the chemical symbol of big letter C and small letter U. It is used for conducting electricity and heat. It is also used in making accessories. Oxygen, with the chemical symbol of big letter O, it supports life, an essential element to the human body. It is also important component of the ozone layer. Helium, with the chemical symbol of big letter H and small letter E. It is used as fuel in the rockets, and it is also used to inflate the balloons. Carbon, with the chemical symbol of letter C. It is used as pencil leads and for making cutting tools. Let us now have the importance and uses of some common compounds. First, we have the sodium bicarbonate or what we call baking soda. It is used for baking or making bread. Potassium hydroxide, or commonly called as caustic potash. It is used to dissolve or remove stain or grease. Hydrochloric acid, or the chemical formula is CHL, or what we call muriatic acid. It removes stains or rust, especially from metals like iron. It is also used for food additives, and this acid is secreted by the stomach to break down, digest, and absorb nutrients. Sulfuric acid. It is commonly called as oil of vitriol. This is an important component of car batteries. Next, we have the calcium carbonate, we commonly called as chalk. 
This is the component of the chalk and used as filler to PVC. Alright, so that ends our video lesson. I hope that you learned something new again in our topic for today about importance and uses of elements and compounds. I'll see you again in my next video lesson. Goodbye everyone! Have a good day!